What's up guys? Cool here back with another video and today it's gonna be a little bit of different video. We're not hunting or fishing or doing anything like that. Today we actually are cooking up some steak. Uh, we only have one but uh, it's a different kind of meat. You guys are wondering probably what it is. By the title you can tell what it is and like what is that? Never heard of that. It is Nilgai. It's an African animal but also my grandpa shot it. Uh, this year so guys here is the steak it is a meal guy backstrap butterfly tenderized so first thing first I'm gonna wash it all off and then put it on the plate so stay tuned so I got the steak all washed off and dried I'm actually gonna do what's called a salt brine and I'll show you guys how to do that real quick so Stay tuned, let's cook up the steak. So first, I'm gonna take some salt, and you want to cover this thing in salt. Same thing for the bottom. I'm gonna flip it over, and I gotta turn off the camera to do that. that all salted up, it's soft down there too. So it's covered in salt, and it's gonna sit for about 15 minutes, and then we'll season, wash all this salt off, Season it up and ready to cook it. So guys, while that is sitting in the salt, what I'm gonna do, take my brand new bow that I just got yesterday for my birthday. I'm gonna take this out and shoot with my brothers. So stay tuned and I'll show you a few clips of me and my brothers shooting our, at our homemade archery range out here. So stay tuned. Which target are you gonna shoot at? I'm gonna shoot at this one. Shoot at this one. Let's see where he hits. So guys, uh, it's been about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. We shot some, we didn't get too many, uh, too much footage of that. We were just having fun with the family and stuff. But it's been about 15, 20 minutes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm take it over to the sink and you're gonna rinse it off. Rinse it real, real good, or it's gonna be really salty. First rinse off, plate rinse today, that's on. Really rinse. Okay guys, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this liquid smoke right here and some Worcestershire sauce and put it in the bowl and mix this in yeah, yeah. the steak in it. Okay, so now pour a little bit of this bad boy in. Not too much, because it's only gonna cover one steak. Then a little bit of this bad boy. If I can get it open, just one second. It doesn't have to be too much Worcestershire sauce because when I grill it, I'm, not, I'm gonna put a little bit more on so it doesn't have to be too much. But now, let's mix the steak into it. Sit it right in there. So, we got the steak out. Really all juicy and it smells so good already. But now we're gonna get some seasonings. So, we're gonna need some pepper, some salt. Now look up here. Just get a little bit of everything, guys. I'll show you what all I, what all I got after I get them all down. This should be all. So, I got some Pepper Chef Southwest seasoning mix. Some seasoned salt. Use this bad boy for everything. Some Tex-Mex rub, some Grillmates mozzarella steak seasoning, and some lemon pepper. This is good stuff on steak. Probably have never heard of that, but add a little bit of this works good. Okay, so now I've got all these seasonings. Season them up. Well. 
little bit of that guy. A little bit of this guy. Just a tad bit of lemon pepper. You don't want to over lemon it or it'll be really lemony. And then some seasoned salt. It's good on everything. And then what you're going to do pack that bad boy in there. Don't want to use any of that seasoning. And try to get some of that seasoning, put it on the edges. You can't forget about the edges. And then what I'm going to do, flip it over. Same thing on this side. Uh, a little bit of pepper. Mix that in. Smash that in. And really get all those sides. So, now it's all ready. I'm just going to put it in the fridge for right now. Just let it sit while the grill's heating up and all that stuff. And I'll catch you guys back up when I'm ready to grill it. So, guys, this is what we're cooking on today. Pit boss. First, we got a plugger in. This is a uh, wood pellet burner grill, so it like runs off wood pellet. So what I'm gonna do? Is take it and turn it to 350, just like that. And I'll come back out here when it's hot and cook her up. So guys, the grill is at about, it's already at 250, so I'm going to go get the steak and put it on. So guys, we got the new guy's steak all seasoned up, ready to put on the grill. I'm going to hand the camera over to Cooper for he can video. I'm going to need two hands putting it on. So guys, I'm going to take this down This steak's so thin and tenderized, like they slice it like they sliced it like that to tenderize it. And so so thin you do not want to leave it on too long. You probably need like three or four minutes on each side. Uh, since it's so thin. First I'm just gonna scrape all up. Come over here real quick, Cooper. And when I put it on, I, you don't want to put it directly on the flame or it'll cook too fast. And with this thinnest stuff, put a little bit sideways. Oh yeah, it's hot enough. It is cooking, boys. About to check it. Is that good? Yeah, so look what we're going to do. That bad boy is cooked. That bad boy. Hot, hot, hot. Pull it off. That boy is done. Let's go eat this bad boy. So guys, we got the new guy steak all good. Look how good that bad boy looks. Just the smell of it. Oh, it smells so good, boys. Ready to try it. So what I'm actually gonna do is cut it in half so me and my brother can both share it. 
Cooper, for some reason, doesn't like my cooking. That, boys, is a yummy Nilgai steak. Let's eat it now. So, guys, I don't know if you can see us all, but we're all about to try the Nilgai steak. Okay, I guess we're trying it. <laughs> Good. Oh, yeah. Well, everyone likes it. So now I'm just gonna eat some and fill our bellies. Now, I'm about to get one of these big pieces right here. Just a little bit of barbecue because I still want to taste that good Neil Guy taste. Your camera's from Hershey's space in me right now. That's really good, guys. <laughs> good? Good. Now let me eat this last pizza. So guys, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you guys enjoy cooking with Koi. It's a good name, I'm gonna stick with that. If you guys just comment down below and tell me what we should cook up next and see if it's good. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below, like I said, what we should do next. And we'll see y'all next time.